is me and today we're to season one episode six of Teen Wolf. Clearly I'm wearing this leather jacket for Derek like I promised last episode. Um, so I had to give you a little, little something tease even though it's the crack of night. Um, last episode it was getting intense. I'm telling you right now we're mid-season and it's already intense. Within the first five episodes, it has been non-stop, heart-wrenching, tenseful-ass scenes between the reveal and between the Hunters and, and Wolf, obviously. Last episode, we literally thought that it was Derek or... <laughs> I don't know. I, like, I was like, okay, maybe the mountain lion, but I was like, there's no way that they're, they're trying to make me lose my mind over the fact that it is a mountain lion. And I thought it was a wolf that got shot whole time it was a mountain lion and you know the way that they had allison's dad shooting and how derek um because i thought derek was still in the woods and how scott was acting and how everybody was running around they made it seem like something really happened at that um parent and teacher conference and honestly they got me good heart literally was falling down and beating hard every second of that last couple minutes of the episode honestly scott and allison they were once again having their first like little getaway they literally skipped school got caught led to what i said was going to happen their parents like blaming each other for the way their kids is acting and giving star crossed but hopefully let's see what's gonna happen. Once again, Styles' dad is doing investigations about who and what could possibly be that monster or human that came out of the VR place that killed the worker, obviously. After, you know, being gaslit by that man at the vet place saying that maybe just an animal or a mountain lion, he obviously has pictures of the the wolf that he don't know was a wolf, transformed not only to the from the wolf to human, but now it was walking away as an in human form. And then plus, you know, um he, you know, Derek found out that his family wasn't killed by Allison's family. They're still trash because they're now everybody's hunting for the alpha. And honestly, I cannot wait to see who the alpha is because the way that the alpha is causing so much distress, truly want to see it. So anyways, let's go even. I really hope this jacket isn't like squeaky because you know how leather be. All right. What? Somebody scratched that. The alpha? You better get going. Damn. He got all the cars going on. Damn. Who, who called it? Is it, is it Styles? Oh, Derek. Okay, but I was fast, right? I'm fast enough. <laughs> the car alarm thing, that was smart, right? So your phone rang. Yeah, but that was... This is why I caught you. Allison. You want me to teach you? Get rid of her. Or just because of her family? Bruh. Yeah. No! Derek! This is the second time you okay, destroy his things. way that I can teach you. Now, can you mm. stay away from her? Mm. At least until after the full moon. No. That's what it takes. Yeah, how much a Yo. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, get, get, get. Get. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know they're gonna find this man. You're grounded and you can't see Scott. I'm not oh. gonna be one of those whining teenagers who looks at her father and says, I hate you, I wish you were dead. But, but, Lamette du Javadon. The Beast of Javadon. And she knew how to spell that, actually. Old French legend that, believe it or not, has something to do with her family. The animal. Nobody knows for sure, but I can tell you one thing it definitely wasn't a mountain lion. Girl, why are you talking? Like to you? It looks like. A dog. A wolf. No! I thought she wasn't gonna say it. They is so <laughs> You gotta be very, very lenient because the dad like I'm not gonna hear that. I, I know I said I would stay away. No, Derek. Broke my phone. It's not Derek. I had to at least tell her why I wasn't answering. It's the dad. The alpha. I said don't be the alpha. 
Oh no! That circle, yeah, on top of the building. What the fuck? You seriously need to stop doing that. So what happened? Did he talk to you? Yeah. What'd you just say? He drew this spiral on, on, on the window of my car. In the condensation, you know? What? You yeah, gotta stop looking you know what it means. Don't. You don't wanna know. Derek! Derek! Bruh, I'm gonna take his jacket off. <laughs> Sorry for ignoring you yesterday. Still not talking to me? Damn. Hey. Okay, can you at least tell me if your dad's okay? To Derek for help. If I was talking to you, I'd say that you're an idiot for trusting him. <laughs> well. But obviously I'm not talking to you. Okay. Okay, Styles. He gonna talk. What did he say? That's what he means when he says he doesn't know if he can teach me. I have to be able to control it. Well, how's he gonna teach you to do that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think he does either. The work. All right. Well, that gives me to the end of the school day then. To do what? To do what? To teach you myself. Oh, what are you gonna teach him, Styles? The beast of Joe Oh, she's Listen. telling everybody now. A quadruped wolf-like monster prowling the Auvergne and South Dordogne areas of France during the hoofed predator, possibly the Masonican, slipping into a coma board. Mm -hmm. Others believe it was a powerful sorcerer Damn. who could shape shift. Take a look at this picture. What did that look like to you? Mm. That's what she saw. She, but she wouldn't have asked from anywhere. Lydia. It looks like a big wolf. <laughs> Does that mean you don't hate me now? Barely. No. But your crop has infiltrated my life, so now I have to do something about it. Well, be. <laughs> Clowns. Yeah. Uh, Clowns. Alright, you know what? I definitely still hate you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Oh. Scott, wait. Mm. Oh. Bruh, this is so. It's not easy. Fairly misappropriated. Coach uses it to monitor his heart rate with his phone while he jogs. You're Still gonna wear it for the rest of the day. Isn't that Coach's phone? That I stole. <laughs> the tape? This is exactly how I wanted to spend my free period. Heart rate, alright? About staying calm. Stay calm. Staying calm. You kind of missed with that one. Staying totally calm. No balls flying in my face. Oh. Jesus. Oh. Stop. Just wait. I just want to he, bro, no, Jackson, go. This guy, please. Get going. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Jackson. There's a forever. Mm. You know, this whole women make you weak thing is a little too Spartan warrior for me. <laughs> it's probably just part of the learning process. Yeah. You'd rather be dead. Oh. Right, you're not going to end up like Derek. All right, we'll figure it out. Word. Come on, let's get out of here. It's whatever that cut is. Don't throw up. Not in front of me. What? It's like I smell that shit through the, through the computer. I'm not gonna hold you. What the fuck is growing inside this man? I knew he was gonna come. Bye. And I wanted to say that I'm sorry. Mm. Sure. I'm serious. Okay, but. Well, it feels like something's been. It feels like something's been stolen from you. And then you start to feel like you do. <laughs> you must really, really hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do. So. What are you reading? See? Like. Oh my god! I mean, are you sure? Yeah. 
This way, I have an excuse to bring you home. Eight thirty. Thank you. Tonight? Mm. Let's shuttle down. Did you do the radio now? No. Um, <laughs> I think I forgot. Nice work, McCall. Felt right. like you're not averaging a D in this class. What? Uh, no? A blog? How about, uh, how about, uh, the back of a cereal box? No? How about the, the, the... Alright. He just, he's just a bitter ass man. Cause what tangent was he even going on? Talking about fucking porn. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you gotta give it up to her. You said you could hear a voice out on the field. Yeah, I did. Well, so that's what brought you back so you could score. Oh, wow. And then after the game in the locker room, you didn't kill her. At least not like how you were trying to kill me. So that's fine. Look, back in the classroom, when she was holding her hand, that was different, okay? I don't think she makes you weak. I, I think she actually gives you control. She's kind of like an anchor. I mean, because I love her. Exactly. You love her? I think I'm totally in love with her. Mm-hmm. And that's beautiful. Now, Maybe. before you go off and write a sonic, can we figure this out, please? Because you obviously can't be around her all the time. What the fuck is that? Getting an idea, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, he getting jumps. Stones? Oh my god. Oh my god. With a friend. Yes, that friend. Okay. Her lab partners. Raise a finger, anything. Just. Mm. Just someone to point me in the right direction, okay? I can take him. Derek. But I have to find him first. You wanna fight this man? <laughs> Say something! Let him go! Damn, you I don't think after six years of this, yelling at him is going to get a response? Oh. Bruh! What the fuck is you doing? No! If Derek has some patience! Let me see the paper. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I know it's detention and all, but uh, I'm they only got detention. Are you serious? Fire. Okay, whether you want it or not, you can do things that nobody else can do. So that means you don't have a choice anymore. Out of here. Oh, so he was eavesdropping on a conversation. And he just threw the blood in there. Why would he do that? Nobody is trusted in in this show until I see fit. What animal? Three months ago. The deer. You remember this? Oh. Did you hear that? You're lying. He can hear it. The what? The sound of your heartbeat rising. He did not do that. He did not buy this. He did not put him up like this. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you mm. talking about? What do you want? I don't really know who you are. Or who you're protecting. The spiral means Scott. I don't know. It's our sign for a vendetta. For revenge. It means he won't stop killing until he's satisfied. You think he's the alpha? We're about to find out. Hit him again. And then you'll see me get angry. Oh. <laughs> they know how to eat every time. Meet me at the school. Mm. Yeah, cause they're about to start two piecing people like now me and Scott twinning. Love the uh, game. Terrible idea. Yeah, I know. Here he is. It's my boss. He's in the back. What are you doing? What? So I was linked with the Alpha. You're you're leading, you're meeting him at the school grounds? Okay, one question. Wait, what are you going to do if the Alpha doesn't show up? I don't know. Yeah, me too. But how right. do you call him, though? Oh, you. You going to howl? He's got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. Be a werewolf, not a team wolf. Be a werewolf. Draw the credits. A team wolf. Oh. 
Oh my God, that's powerful. Mm hmm. I'm gonna kill both of you. Oh! They just did. You gotta be the alpha, bro. I, I don't know. I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't know. Every episode just gets amazing. Amazing and amazing and amazing and amazing and amazing and amazing. Like the bar keeps exceeding every episode. So I feel like they're trying to gaslight me into believing that the guy who left is the alpha. And to be honest, I don't know. Maybe. I just feel like the timing is just co coincidence because wouldn't. Derek, I mean, I don't know, they wouldn't be able to, they, the thing is, they wouldn't be able to identify him as a human. That's what Derek and them said earlier on. So they can't identify, they can't sniff him and be like, oh, you're a wolf. Or, or more, right? Or more so an alpha. But the thing is, is that like, why? I just, I just don't know. Like he's been lying all the time. Every time somebody asks a question, he gets fidgety. And maybe that's his like facade of like acting like he's this nervous um fidgety vet who deals with animals but turns into an alpha or whatever i don't know but it's just a coincidence that when he's beat up and then um bleeding and then you know scott does a um a how he just disappeared the doors open and then the alpha freshly comes and i mean that hot the whole the whole alleyway or parking lot is empty so you would at least saw him run or heard some footsteps because they have hearing that clearly can excel miles away so maybe he is the alpha or maybe that's what I, they want us to think i just know that i either i either said that he was alpha or he was um someone who knows a lot about it because he's clearly hiding information and I was making, you know, I was talking about how last episode or, yeah, last episode, um, he kind of, like, always goes in a rush when somebody asks questions specifically, you know, Styles is dead. But it's just a coincidence. Like, if it is him being an alpha, I wouldn't be surprised. But if it's not, honestly, they're trying to gaslight us because he knows so much. And it's always him that avoids questions when answered about what attacked this animal, what attacked this human. So... Um, or maybe he knows more or maybe he is another werewolf. Maybe he he knows something, but I'm trying to figure out if he's on the, I feel like he's on the wolf spectrum of knowing or doing investigations of his own, but he might just be a werewolf or an alpha or he just might be a damn, I don't know, somebody related to it. But clearly the alpha is looking for revenge, which we don't know. I mean, we don't even know who is like, um, you know, Derek's um, uncle, I believe. He lifted his hand up, but we don't know which what it was for because he said, "Was it was it somebody that was in the fire? Was it our know, family?" Like he asked him like three to four questions, and he lifted his hand up, which means we don't know which one is he answering to. So probably could be, um, a, you know, revenge against Allison's family since they're back in town. And coincidentally, as soon as they get back in town, that's when Scott becomes a werewolf. Um, I think that's really convenient because Allison and her dad moves into town um, and then, you know, when Sky gets bit and then the werewolf stuff starts to spike up. But I feel like even before that, um, the police had a, a, a kind of a time that everybody gets home. Why am I forgetting this name? I f I'm telling you right now, even I said this like episode or two ago and I still don't remember the name. Um, let me see what it is. A certain time to get home. A curfew. Yeah. Like, it was already registered a curfew, so I feel like there was wolf attacks, but I feel like it's now and it's getting real severe. So maybe it's because of the more hunters coming into town. I really want to know what is happening. I feel like there's so many reasons and so many kind of things we can point at. Well, I can point at since I don't know. But there's so many things that I can point at that I can be like, okay, well, maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. But at this point, I'm not even going to try to sound delusional or dumb and try to act like I know what I'm talking about and be wrong. So I'm just going to sit there and I'm going to eat my food and not say anything. But this episode was a 10 out of 10. This whole, every, all the episodes 10 out of 10. Like, I don't know. I feel like people might be like, wait till you get to other seasons. This might be child's play. I could rewatch these episodes. And I feel like a lot, a lot of shows, like, is always emotional for me. And I feel like I can just rewatch these shows. I feel like I can rewatch, I can rewatch these episodes in any order and enjoy it. But anyways, let's talk about the major things, which is Jackson, Allison, and Scott, and um, Styles. 
let's do Jackson first. Jackson, I don't know what he is. He is clearly, I don't know if he's like hallucinating the hands or whatever, but it's been a few days, so I'm not going to say that I'm surprised like, why didn't it heal up, but that cut is not healing up. If anything, it's like re, it's like it's getting reinfected every time. Um, and no matter how, what the bandaid is, he just, it just keeps getting ble bloody. It just still looks like inf infected, so obviously the werewolf put something in um the alpha day because it started to light up that orangish pinkish color um i don't know if he's going to be working for the alpha because you see how he fastly changed but also he's getting very angry fast he's heating up he's sweating and i feel like um and then then sky said something about rotting flesh so i don't think he's a werewolf i think he's something else like he might be some damn um fire 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 demon or some shit like that i don't know but he's definitely not a werewolf but i feel like i don't think the i don't think i think derek activated something in him like i feel like at, at this point everybody at beacon hills is somehow some type of supernatural or in 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 into wine with each other so he might have activated something in jackson's family line because jackson is adopted so his parents don't know what he is but jackson might be a supernatural because he lit it up like that Piscionic, I, I said it wrong last time, Physionic or Piscionic form. It's kind of reminded me of like how um, Gwen Tennyson was from um, Ben 10 or like a figure that is like an entity kind of thing. It, like it will shed his skin and have this other form under it. That's what I feel like Jackson is. And clearly he's fighting it and it's going to take a while because jackson i mean because he's starting to smell like flop riding um riding flesh he, he like he's kind of hollow and drained tired like his under his eyes is red he kind of like he's sweating he's fidgety he's very much aggressive now more aggressive than anything but i do feel like he would definitely speak in how he really felt to um Allison, to a degree, I'm talking about like him being jealous of Scott, which I already said. Next, Allison, she's getting to her family history and she already talking about wolves. It is not going to be a matter of time before she finds out the truth. And especially during this episode, has proved enough that Scott and her are inseparable. So it's going to be intense to see them. I mean, it was going to be intense to see how long they want to try to drag them being away from each other. But you know, she's mentally intrigued in the werewolf stuff and she's not giving up. She's actually possibly going to do an, um, a report on this and she's not giving up. She might start asking her dad and her aunt questions because she's reading it to Lydia. Like she's reading it to everybody. Like she's, she's, she's definitely going to become a hunter or get into her hunter lineage real quick. Anyways, that was my season one episode six for action to Teen Wolf Heart Monitor, which we did a lot. Sweaky Leather. For Derek Supremacy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Teen Wolf reactions. Patreon link below the full Teen Wolf, Buffy, Sailor Moon, and any reactions. Until next time, until next time, make sure to receive. Peace.